Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Those of you who have been following me now for some time will know that about six months after starting the channel I started a series where I wanted to recreate the picnic dresses from the film Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. This film was designed by Walter Plunkett who as you know is my favourite designer and I've done lots of his work, reproducing his work on the channel. So for this video for the series we are now at dress number four and we will be making the blue picnic dress which is worn by the actress Ruta Lee and she is one of the surviving members of this film. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this dress. It's something I've actually been planning to make for a, a few years now. Um, so let's get into making the dress and I'll see you at the end with the finished product. For this dress I'm going to be using this pale blue cotton that I picked up at A1 Textiles in Shepherd's Bush. And then for the gingham I have this fabric which I've already pre-dyed pale blue to match the pale blue cotton. I start the process by cutting out the front of the skirt. I use the negative pattern piece from the front to cut out the back panels. I then machine the front and backs together, but not the centre back seam. Then I sew the hem up by hand, apart from a couple of inches either side of the centre back seam. The next step is to then cut out the skirt chevron decoration out of the gingham fabric. Press the seam allowances in on the chevrons and then tack it onto the skirt in preparation for sewing. After this, I then top stitch them onto the skirt. Then I finally sew up the centre back seam. Next I gather up the waist of the skirt and sew it onto a Petersham waistband. Then cover it with a strip of blue cotton and top stitch it into place. After this, I then move on to cutting out the bodice in both the backing and the blue cotton fabric. The next step is to then trace around all the pattern pieces with the carbon paper and tracing wheel. Then sew in the rows of gatherings into the front bodice and pull them up to shape. I can then sew the bodice panels together. Next, I cut out and sew the gingham yoke for the neckline. This is done in the same way as the chevrons on the skirt. Here I am cutting 
out the belt out of a biased piece of fabric. I sew the two sides of the belts together and in incorporate it into the bottom of the bodice, but the back pieces are loose. Next, I move on to cutting out the sleeves in the white cotton and the blue cotton. I sew the elbow dart and then the seam together. The sleeve flounce is cut circular from a double layer of fabric. This is sewn together and turned through and then sewn onto the bottom of the sleeve. And here's the finished dress. She's turned out really well and I think she's a nice addition to the three that I've already done. I've had the same issue problem with this one that I had with the other ones where I just can't get the scale of gingham now that was available when the costumes were made so I've had to go with something as close as I can get to do what I need it to do. Um, also I don't know if I've mentioned this in one of the previous videos but with these costumes they had two skirts, one which was a full length skirt for the acting parts and then a shorter version for the dancing sequence, which is what I'm doing with this group of dresses. I'd like to thank my patrons again for their continued support of this channel. Without them making things like this would not be possible. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again very soon.